All right, so welcome back to our next lecture. Today's lecture, we'll, we'll be talking about creating 3D objects. We'll talk about what a feature is, what the feature is extrude, extrude boss, sorry, extrude boss, extrude cut, fillet, and chamfers. Also talk about how to apply these features, like the extrude box, extrude cut, fillet, and chamfers. We will do a, talk about how to edit these features in sketches, how to delete an existing feature, and then we're gonna finally end off with when you are designing something, how are your priorities going to be? Like, are we, how are you going to use this item you have to think about? And how it would affect the modeling afterwards. So the first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to open up any part file. And we're going to change our units to inches. As well as set our units to drafting standards to ANSI as well. So now that we have that done, let's go create our first feature. So I'm going to show it to you what we're going to build. So you could pause the video and watch and see how it looks. And then I'm going to explain how to do it in two methods using the sketch, the extrude, extrude cut, the fillet, and the chamfer. So we have the drawing right over here. So as you see, we're going to be building this rectangle right away before you even start and start jumping in really fast. Take a look, look at the drawing and see how you can make this by just looking at the simple things that we're working with. So first thing you should do is make a sketch. Choose a plane where you want to start that sketch. Then create the sketch and then add the feature of extrude, extrude cut, and keep your the ending things as for your fillet and the chamfers. So just looking at this box here, we see our box is 10 by five, by five. So we're going to go start that sketch right now. So let's go start it up. Let's go make a sketch. Start a sketch. Let's do it from the top plane. Make a rectangle. And like I said in the previous videos, when you are drawing this, these things, try to make them right away fully defined. So in this case here, we're missing two dimensions. So let's go put here our dimension of 10. And here, put our dimension of five. My SolidWorks is going a little bit buggy, so hopefully it doesn't, it's not me, it's the SolidWorks. So now we have our first piece fully defined. We're gonna go and do a extrude boss right now. So in the here now, you see that once we have our sketch, we're able to either, if we pull this little arrow by zooming in, you'll see it. You could pull up a random number, or we could go type in here using the little dial. Let's go put it as, I don't know why it looks like this. Let's go choose five. So right away we have the option of using blind, which means it's gonna go in any direction we want. If I flip the arrow down, it's gonna go five down, going downward. If I flip it upward, it would be going five as well. You do have also the other options, like up to vertex, up to surface, offset from a surface up to body and mid plane. It's our first piece, so we're not going to go use them all. I could show you mid plane, that from the mid plane, it's going to divide whatever units you put over here. It's going to put 0.25 going upward and 0.25 going downward as well. So you're able to see those two dimensions as we go. So it gives you the total dimensions. If I went back to blind again, and I wanted to go five and two in another direction, I just hit the direction two, blind as well, and I could be able to put in another dimension. Let's go put here. I don't know why my SOLIDWORKS is buggy like this. Let's put five again. And I have it in both directions. Go back now, put it back to zero. Sorry, uncheck it. And you have one direction. We could have also added a, a draft which is gonna either bring it inward of the units you're doing, or we could bring it out outward depending on what your needs are. For our drawing now, we just want a simple rectangle. So we could press okay now. And like that, we have our first rectangle. So when we first started, I told you guys that every view that we're making comes with the front view, the top view, and the right view. But now if you notice, now that we have this rectangle box or whatever shape we're making, it adds in new views for us, new sketch planes. I can now sketch on any one of the faces of this rectangle and there 
and that adds now a total of six plus the three, so that's nine different planes we can work with. In the case of our drawing, we're going to want to work on the top plane. So let's go to the sketch. We're going to go choose now our top plane. So you could choose any plane you want when you are working with these ones here. So something to take note of is while when we are working with uh, extrude, we are adding material to our object. We're taking a a two-dimensional thing and we're pulling it up to give it material, making it go from 2D to 3D. What we're going to be doing now is called extrude cut, which is we're actually removing material from our item so it gives it the look that we need. So now we're building from the top view. We're going to go now and make another rectangle from the center. And from the dimensions we saw earlier, we have this one here should be a eight and this one here should be three and now we have our fully defined again this is going to give us our what's the shape we're going to cut through the whole item so now we're going to go use our feature use extrude cut and you see here now we're able to remove material it's showing you which material you're working to remove i could go all the way through i could just say halfway oops but in the case of our drawings, we're going to go through all. So we could do blind and type in five right away. We could pull the arrows how you want to go. You could go through it. You're just making sure it goes. Or you could even go and do through all, which is going to make sure that it goes through the whole piece. And again, we have the other options, which we'll go on later on. I could add that same drape again. Draft, I mean, sorry. Press OK. And now we have our whole through our piece. So. As you can see now, we removed the material. All that's left to do is the chamfer at the top and the filet at the bottom, which what those do is just eliminates the sharp edges on our drawing. Now, you saw how we did this in two steps. We did one sketch here and another one here. Let me just rewind a bit and show you how I could have done the same piece by just doing the one thing. So let's go show you if I wanted to erase a feature that I worked with. So for example, the extrude cut. I don't want it, so let's go right here, right click. I can delete that sketch, that um, feature. So I still have my sketch present. I could go now and I could edit it, or in this case, I'll delete it again because I don't really need it. And let's go do the same thing to our extrude cut. So if you notice, it brought it back to the bare minimum. If I hadn't, if I would have deleted from the beginning, so now I have everything. Let's go back to the original one and I go press the delete option. You notice it deletes anything pertaining to anything that, that's um, based off that one thing. It's going to erase as well. So just be careful when you are erasing because they are dependent of each other. So now we have that nice sketch. Let's go back to the top sketch, edit, and let's go add a, our inner cutout right away. So let's go put a dimension like this. I could use the offset, but I'm just going to do this quickly. This should be three. This should be eight. So now I have that same sketch that I worked on previous. From here now, I could go back. And now you notice I have two sketches going in. From here now, I could do my extrude. And I'm just going to go choose my sketch. And as you can see here, I put five. We did the same thing in one method. Instead of having two, I just switched it all. I did it all in one sketch altogether. Now let's say I didn't want to do that, but I already made the sketch. I could also do this. Let me go delete this. Oh no, I'm going to edit. Instead of deleting, I'm going to edit it. Right click, edit, sketch, edit feature. And now instead of clicking both, I'm going to remove the inner one. So I'm going to click here. See, now it's only going to do the inside one. If I click the outside one, it's only going to do this. So let's do control and add both of them. Let's go add, oops, add a feature. Let's go add this one and this one. Come on. Oops, let's go. What am I doing? Let's go undo this. Let's go put this back to five. 
Let's just check what's going on here. We should be able to do both. Hold on, I did it before, so let's do it again. Okay, in this case, you can edit, but let me just delete the sketch, the um, feature, and let's do it again. Let's do the sketch over here. If I want to do both, I should be able to select. I don't know why it's not. I, I don't know if it's because it's the glitching, but give me one second. Okay, so let's try again. Let's go do extrude. Open, click the sketch. Now let's go do, I don't know why it's doing this again. I don't know why it's doing this. I feel like it's glitchy. Escape, extrude again, choose the sketch here. Five, it worked a second ago. I don't know why it's doing this now. As you can see, my SolidWorks is very glitchy. There we go. I got the outside one. Now let's see if I could do the in both of them. Come on. Why is it doing one or the other? It should allow it to do both. So I select like this. I'm getting sick by this, the way SOLIDWORKS is reacting right now. There we go. I don't know why that was so glitchy. And I could have done this. That was the hardest. <laughs> it looked so hard to do it. It's going to go faster for you guys. I don't know what was wrong with my, why it was glitching like that. But now that we've done that and killed like 10 minutes, it feels like, we're going to go now do the extrude cut and we're going to share the previous sketch that we had here. So we're going to click here and now you're going to see a little symbol underneath that we're sharing the sketch. Let's go do, just click on, again, now we're getting the same thing we had before, flip. And click on this one here and press OK. And as you can see here, we are now cutting through our material. So we cut through the material like we saw before. So there was two ways of doing it. The little icon over here, like I said earlier, is if I want to pull back to see the steps I want done, I could just grab the little blue bar and I could go, SolidWorks is very annoying today. Go to the blue bar and I'll be able to go back and forward. Now we're going to just finish off with our extrude cut, uh, not extrude cut, our fillets. Let's go do our fillet at the bottom. As you saw in the drawing, we have the fillets at the bottom. So let's go click here or the top. The drawing could just be upside down. And I could click the edges I want right away. So I could do one at a time. Or if I want it in the drawing, you see that's on both sides. All I need to do, fillet, I could type in afterwards, but I just click the bottom face and it's going to fillet both sides and show you the preview. Here's where I put in the size I need. In this case, it's 25. And it's because I'm using both edges, I could just click this plane itself and it's going to automatically do it for me. There's our fillet. And now for the chamfer, the same exact method, just that you're using the chamfer. Again, we're always removing material. We're going to click the top face and it's going to automatically do it for us. 0.25. And like that, we have the drawing completed that we worked on. So now if I wanted to edit anything, I could go back to the chamfer, or if I don't want to see the chamfers, I could pull them up, do a fillet on top, and see which one I want instead. If I want to change the numbers, I just go on chamfer, right click, edit feature, and from there I'm able to change the number if I want to put it at a different angle. Right now it's doing 25-25, so if I go do 50, it's going to change the look of our drawing. Let's go if I change it to 30. If I put a bigger number by accident, like 25, you see it won't show you the preview because it's too big. So then you go 0.25 and it works as well. So if you don't want a preview to show, you can do this. But if you do have the preview working, it kind of tells you what it looks like before we start. And again, if you don't want the face, I could undo this, delete this one, and I could just do the edges that I want to work with as well. Okay, but in the case of what we're working with, 
this to the top and you have both sides completed. Same thing for the fillet. If I wanted to go back to change the shape of my rectangle, I could go back to my first one, edit the sketch, and change our numbers from 10 to 20. Oops. And then do the same thing for here. You could have formulas later on that keep the same distance from each other. So this would be 18. So that's always the same distance of two. All right, and then if I press accept, you'll see that it updated everything as well. All right, so just remember when you are building, you select your plane first, then you create the sketch, and then you apply the feature. Thank you.